Hello guys, you are most welcome again on my channel and uh, today is 32 as you know and we are going to talk about history of English literature and uh, today's part is the age of Shakespeare. We are talking about poetry and uh, especially erotic poetry written and composed in this era or in this age. We will be talking about the works by Christopher Marlowe and uh, Shakespeare. Here some works I have. To talk about and some important and famous anthologies written one question today i will leave you with one question and uh, themes we will be talking about and uh, story of venus and adonis what happened that time uh, when he wrote this and what is the story of this work so before starting uh, the channel i want to request you for one thing uh, please subscribe, share and like if you have pressed all, already subscribe button don't forget to subscribe uh, and press the bell icon because whenever I will be uploading a video I will upload video you will be notified second thing is share and like if you share and like it helps us to grow our channel and it really helps okay so let's start uh, today's topic so today's topic is poetry Whenever we are uh, talking about poetry or we are preparing for any exam, we should know the publication date and influence, influenced by, like if we are talking about Venus and Adonis, it, uh, it was, uh, you know, Shakespeare was motivated by work of uh, Ovid and uh, the Greek uh, mythologies and uh, Greek stories. So he wrote this, out of that motivation he wrote and he composed Venus and Adonis. All right, and uh, later, like uh, we were talking about Spencer, poet, poet, we call him like here, poet, poet, Spencer. If you didn't watch my yesterday's video, if you haven't watched video yesterday's video, Spencer or Sydney, you can check the videos back in the previous video. So, you will get this answer. So, you can see that like Spencer had influenced who wrote to write poetry. So, in this way, Shakespeare was influenced by Ovid. Hello guys, if you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit this bell icon so that you can get notified for my videos. Here are some of my other channels. If you like, please do subscribe. First is Daily Lesson with Kaushik for English language. And uh, Mission Free from Fear is for motivation and uh, self-defense. Seated, sure, is for particularly seated. And other Greek writers. That's why he was composing these works. Alright, so... Publication date, we should remember, influenced by and later whom were influenced. Ki kaun uske baad mein, is tarah ki jo details hai, humare paas exact notes honne chahiye. Okay, uh, for our exams, whether it is TGT, PGT or UGC net or any other literature or any other exam. So for literature we are, particularly we are talking about dedicated, whom he dedicated like, uh, such questions are asked in, in exams. So let's go ahead. The themes they were writing in that uh, in that particular time, okay, in age of Shakespeare, patriotism, war, rivalry, metaphysical poet, uh, poetry they used, love, poetry, philosophical problems. So they also wrote some uh, poetry on philosophical problems and uh, their solutions and influence. So partic particularly they got influenced. In that uh, time, Italian sensuality. So, because this is erotic poetry, we will find uh, sensual things here. So, especially they were influenced by Italian sensuality. Later in, in today's video, probably we will be talking about uh, sonnet. So, we will see that it came through Italy and uh, there. So, here. Italian sensuality, okay, so sometimes in, uh, you know, UGC net exams, such deep things are asked and they are correlated with uh, the things. So let's go ahead, uh, let's start this discussion. Before starting this, see here, 64 and 64, you can correlate things, if you correlate things, uh, we remember the things for a long, long, long time and I usually use this method of correlation. So here you can see 64 and 64 because he was born. Marlowe was born in uh, 64 and Shakespeare was born in 64. So we need to remember this 1564 here. If we are 
1564 बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी आई होप यू आर गेटिंग कि आपको 64, 64 याद रखना है शेक्सपियर का आपको पता है मार्लो का भी आपको पता चल जाएगा और आप यूपी टीजीटी पीजीटी और उत्तराखंड एलटी या पीजीटी की तैयारी कर रहे हैं तो इस तरह के फैक्ट आपको पूछे जाते हैं यूजीसी नेट में यूजुअली इस तरह के फैक्ट नहीं पूछे जाते कुछ पब्लिकेशन से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन आते हैं टू थ्री क्वेश्चन बट नॉट मोर देन दैट तो और टीजीटी पीजीटी लेवल के लिए ये सारे आपको याद होनी चाहिए कि कब पब्लिश हुआ और क्या चीजें बट फॉर इन डेप्थ नॉलेज यू नीड टू वर्क ऑन थीम्स ओके एंड सोशल इन्फ्लुएंस सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट क्राइस्ट ऑफ मालो हिया हीरो एंड लियडा हिज वर्क इट इज इनकम्प्लीट वर्क एंड इट वॉज इनकम्प्लीट वर्क एंड बिकॉज इट वॉज इनकम्प्लीटेड बिकॉज ऑफ हिज अनटाइमली डेथ एंड इट गॉट कम्प्लीटेड बाय दिस जेंटलमैन जॉर्ज चैपमैन George Chapman is uh, not only you know he completed this work but he was a great translation so he got some uh, things translated like first one was Iliad by Homer Odyssey 1613 and 1611 these are not dates of publication of these works but these are translation dates 1613 and in 1611 so do you remember it is uh, you know 1616 16 as if you remember this 1616 Shakespeare dies in that uh, on that year. So here, incomplete George Chapman. We have gone through this detail. Very important thing is that he was using epigrammatic lines. You can find out this work, this word epigrammatic, and uh, you will find that it is you know important to understand this work if you are going to talk about uh, Marlowe. Who ever loved some epigrammatic grammatic lines are taken from uh, the works of Christ to Marlowe. Who ever loved that loved not at first sight. So I decided that I will at least uh, you know include एक दो जो उस टाइम की आपके पास quotations होंगी important quotations होंगी in next video से मैं इस video से मैंने show किया कि at least one or two quotations I will put and one question for you. It is not in our power to love or hate. Good question. Good question to remember, isn't it? So here, Shakespeare, Venus and Adonis. Uh, it got published in fifteen ninety three, and it was dedicated to Earl of Southampton. And I will uh, <clears throat> give you a, give you a homework. Find out the meaning of Earl and what was Earl at that time, and write down in comment box. Okay. Next is. ओके वीनस एंडोनिस व्हाट इज द स्टोरी इन शॉर्ट वीनस एंडोनिस की शॉर्ट स्टोरी क्या है वीनस इज स्किल्ड लवर मींस शी वाज स्किल्ड इन लव मेकिंग एंड एंडोनिस इज स्किल्ड स्पोर्ट पर्सन शी लव्स एंडोनिस एंडोनिस को प्यार करती है लेकिन एंडोनिस क्या है ही इज बिजी विद हिज हंटिंग थिंग्स लेटर व्हाट हैपेंड ही गॉट किल्ड बाय वाइल्ड बोर एक वाइल्ड बोर उसे मार देता है एंड देन ही बिकम्स स्टोन और स्टोन बन जाता है दिस इज द स्टोरी द रेप ऑफ लुकरिस हियर इट इज काइंड ऑफ यू नो अपोजिट यहां पे प्यार मोहब्बत वाली को बातें नहीं है यहां पे है सिंपली देर वॉज आर रेप एंड लुकरिस गॉट रेप्ड बाय टार्किन टी ए आर क्यू यू आई एन टार्किन Okay, and uh, she was chased by of someone, and she got ra raped. This is the story. Now, next one is some famous anthologies written in this uh, at that point of time. First is Tortles Miscellany in 1557, The Paradise of uh, Dainty Device in 1576, A Handful of Pleasant Delights, Phoenix Nest, and the England is ha England's Halloween. and uh, for you guys there is one question who called spencer poets poet write down in comment box go to comment box and write down uh, in comment box if you will write down some comments okay don't forget to write down you know some comments because it increases our uh what do we call it in youtube language then uh, it goes you know to broader audience if you comment If you share, if you like, share you can understand, but like and the comments helps us to grow the channel. Thank you for being being with me. 
and uh, give your feedback whatever you feel like right bye bye take care see you in next video